Welcome to the orientation videos that are associated with Unit 4 from Working with Health IT Systems. So now we have produced a report of sorts with a lot of data in it. Now again, we could certainly sort order, but let's just show a specific date range from August the 3rd through August. Well, let's just take the 7th and say OK. What this is going to do is narrow your search space and it will actually show you a much narrower group of values here. So you can actually now look at this data and say, wow, sometime during this period, obviously Mr. One had some sort of infection going on or something because the values have really ranged. He went from a 99.5 on August the 7th up to 102. 102, actually, this is sort of ordered backwards. Let's look at this. Interesting. So 95, he went up to a 101.2, then 102, then a 102.8. So you can see the trend in the data. I think with those three examples, you pretty much have an understanding of how the reporting function works under the Clinical Reports tab. Now, I want to show you another method of doing a reporting function, and this is something called Health Summary. Inside of Health Summary is something quite interesting called Ad Hoc Report. This allows you to make very detailed reports for a particular user. These can be saved as well. So you could have, like, Dr. Smith, who really likes to see these five variables, and you can actually save this for him. We're not going to do that in this unit, but I just wanted to tell you about the functionality. The difference between the ad hoc report and the clinical report is an ad hoc report lets you get down to much finer levels of granularity. So instead of taking all the vital signs, if I just want to see their temperature, I can just choose temperature. Instead of taking all the blood results, I just want to see one value, like a blood glucose value. I can choose blood glucose or blood sugar and pull out that specific data element, which allows your clinician, instead of having to wander through reams and reams of data, it allows them to go straight to the piece of information that they need. You will see this on the far left side. These are all the values that are available to be chosen. You will transfer them over into the query box here. And then there are some elements that you can set over here. A time limit, they only come in years. But there are certain values that you can just choose one year, two year, three year, or whatever. Let's look at labs. Lab Cumulative Selected. Click on this. Transfer it into the query box. You see what happens is now it will pull up the sub-elements or the sub-items. So let's just say I want to look at blood, urea nitrogen. I'm going to transfer it over to the search box and say OK. What this has done here is it has taken the main test. You've transferred it over into your query box. And then you have specified a sub-item that you want to choose. You can go back in and add something. Or let's just say we no longer want that one. And I would like to choose blood something else. Let's just choose blood sugar. So let's say that I would like to look now just at current orders. I can go into the box here. Let me just type orders. Transfer it over to the query box. Time limit. I'll stick with one year. This is the header name. And let's see, how about problems? I would like to look at all of his problems. So here's a problem list active. You can see. But I want all of his problems, not just the active problems, not the inactive problems. I want the entire list. I will transfer that over into the query box. And let me go back to those labs again. Let's just say lab cumulative selected. I'm going to transfer that over into the query box. I'm interested in his hemoglobin A1C values. I think it's AGB, HGB, hemoglobin A1C. Here we go. So let's transfer that over. So now what I've done here is I've created an ad hoc report that when I run this is going to give me all of Mr. Patient 1's current orders, his entire problem list, it's going to give me some lab results that will only include his hemoglobin A1C. What I can do at this point is just say OK and let the report run. Now you can see what this is produced over here on the right-hand side.
Here are his current orders. Here are all of his problems. There are actually three inactive problems here. And then, here are his lab results. His hemoglobin A1Cs, which are right there. So now what I've done here is just created an ad hoc summary for a particular user. It's quite easy. You should just get in here and explore a little bit, but it becomes quite intuitive after a while.